Hello my dear friends, in this particular case I was forced to perform a one-handed FACO emulsification because I chose the side port incision at a very bad location. Let us observe this case which was a grade 2 nucleus sclerotic cataract. What you are seeing is the capsular rexis being performed. Now I do the cortical cleavage hydro dissection by just injecting close to the center and the fluid wave passes through the lamella and highlights the endonucleus after which I take the 27 gauge bevel cannula towards the mid periphery and outline the circumferential limits and extent of the endonucleus which will help me to a great deal while performing the direct phaco chop maneuver. This of course is followed by a good cortical cleavage hydro dissection. Even as I started with FACO emulsification, I noted that the separation between the main incision and the side port incision was more than 120 degrees, which meant that the side port was actually a dummy. It was not really performing its function as the vector and the fulcrum of the side port was such that it was quite ineffective in either creating the chop and also acting as a useful tool. As I proceeded with the direct FACO chop and I created the fragment, this of course requires a bimanual procedure. You cannot create a chop with one hand. I realized that once the chop has been created that I really don't need the second instrument at all. Of course, I could have made a second side port incision and continued, but I wanted to see if by simply using the FACO fluidics and dynamics, I can manage to do the FACO emulsification just using my FACO probe itself in a one handed maneuver. I stabilized the eye with the corneal pocket incision using a rod that has pushed into a tangential opening. Now you see there's a small fragment that is close to the incision. I pull back the FACO tip and the irrigation sweeps it onwards and brings it to the center. In most FACO machines available today, the fluidix is such that it issues out from the sides of the irrigation port in the FACO tip. Now this sweep and the aspiration flow rate along with the vacuum generated will sweep the piece automatically towards the FACO tip. This occurs in a convection current sort of fashion and this is what I'm utilizing in order to propel not only the nucleus fragments but also the epinucleus shell into the center onto the front of the FACO tip after which it is being aspirated. For epinucleus I'm just using the epinucleus mode settings. Actually, it is not very difficult to perform one-handed FACO. Of course, you have to create the fragments first for which a bimanual technique is needed. The cortical aspiration also is being performed just using a single hand, my dominant hand only. The coaxial IA probe can remove the cortex quite easily as long as the eyeball is stabilized from outside. The patient is going to receive a 80 LISA multifocal implant and this is the way it is loaded onto the butterfly cartridge. Just make sure that the perforation on the haptic is to the left as you load this lens into the barrel of the butterfly cartridge. The injection also can be performed in a single-handed fashion. Note that in plate haptic lenses especially, once you get half the plate inside the bag, then as the plate unfolds, the rest of the lens will automatically slip into the capsular bag. This is what happens in this case. About 80 to 90 percent of this case was managed with single-handed FACO emulsification and it's possible and it's quite easy to do. Thank you for your attention.